Foko spoke to some of the non-believers about what drives them to use the house of God anyway. If you're one of Britain's growing number of atheists, a Sunday morning might present itself as an opportunity to just sleep in and relax. After all, there's no Sunday mass to attend. Well, not exactly. More and more of London's atheists are waking up on a Sunday morning and going to church. Sunday assembly. Don't look shy. Coming in. But there's no talk of saints or sinners here. We are the Sunday Assembly. We like to think of ourselves as a uh, part footstomping show, a uh, part atheist church, 100% celebration of life. So that's what's happening. Uh, and it is for people who want to live better, help often, and wonder more. Living better in the Sunday Assembly sense of the term features singing. Don't tales told by stand-up comedians. Anything that takes off probably takes off because it, it gets into our very basics of what we need as humans. Like being welcoming is a really big part of being Irish. Like it's our main thing because we don't have an economy anymore. So it has to be our main thing. Um, and I noticed that like we're forgetting sometimes to be welcoming. Since its launch, Londoners have been clamoring to attend with more non-worshippers turning up than can fit into the venue. I was uh, leaving a Christmas carol service about six years ago and thought, you know, there's so much about this which I really love. You know, the community coming together, singing songs with people, uh, having mulled wine afterwards. You know, that is all things you can buy. It's just a shame the God part. <laughs> a quarter of Brits now describe themselves as having no religion, and that figure's going up by three quarters of a million annually. At the same time, Christianity is losing more than half a million followers a year. With trends as they are, the number of atheists is set to overtake the number of Christians by 2030. Congregations are getting older and older. And I think we're getting now to the stage where there are second, third generations of people who've just never been in a church. More and more people are finding that the church is not relevant and particularly where we have the leaders of churches taking positions on women's rights and on, on gay rights which are totally at variance from what the majority of people in, in the congregation think. But these modern-day atheists are still seeking out some sort of spiritual solace. We were really shocked at how many people were here. We weren't expecting this number of people. And I think it says a, something about how people feel that they're, all these people are here because they're looking for something. I thought, you know, it'd be interesting to kind of be in a, a group of people all having a chat about how to live our lives, which you don't kind of get except in pubs. Oh, I haven't been in a church for a few years. First time I go back. <laughs> There's no cross in there. No cross except for the first aid cross over here. That's the only one I've seen so far. I think that just because you don't believe in God doesn't mean that you don't want to hear really interesting talks, to think about improving yourself, to sing with others, and then to have a cup of tea with people at the end. I mean, this is really all the best things about church without the one thing which I'm uncomfortable with, which is the religion part. 14.1 million Brits now describe themselves as faithless, a label that these non-worshippers feel comfortable celebrating. Polly Boyko, RT, London.